In this video you will learn how to use pop-up screens. I have pop-up screens for adding an item to the order and for editing the order item list. The screens are model and the windows behind them are unavailable while these screens are open. I edit GUI Go screen actions to the item list data source of the order screen. I pass an order ID as a parameter and I open screens with the pop-up mode. I chose none for the data scope, then action is available even if the order has no items yet. After this action is run, I am gonna refresh all rows of the order items data source to show the new item list, and the current row of the order data source to show the new order sum. And I edit these actions to the screen part with the order item list. Now to the screen for adding an item to the order. I configure the width and height of this screen for the pop-up mode. This is in percents of the full screen size. The screen has one parameter for the current order ID. And I have two data sources here. The first is for the order item and the second to use some fields of the order itself. I edit an action new to create a new order item. The screen parameter order ID is copied to the shipping order field. To run this action on the screen opening, I configured the re-execute and change as add symbol sys.id. The standard data source always has one record. I created an insert action to write a record into the database and I set its type to OK. Then the model screen closes after this action and I edit do no action with the type cancel. It does nothing but closing a model screen. The data source for the order has one action, select, and to read the current order it has a filter using the order ID screen parameter. I edit the new action only onto the form for the new order item, and actions for the OK and Cancel buttons go to the screen actions on the Properties tab. These buttons are gonna be at the bottom of the screen, separately from the screen parts and the line is set to end to show these buttons at the right. Finally, I edit a select action to the form with the order fields. Let's see how the screen works. When the save button is hit, an item is added to the order, and if I press the close icon or the cancel button, the screen is simply gonna be closed. Ok, here's the screen for editing the order items list. A user can find a product, add it to the order, change a quantity and a comment for an existing item, or delete an item from the order. The screen also has a parameter to pass an order ID, and three data sources, the list of available products, existing order items, and for creating a new order item. I edit a select operation to the available products data source with a user filter. For the data source of the existing order items, I disabled editing of some fields. To do that, I configured the edit condition as false, and I edit the select, update and delete operations. The select filter uses the order ID screen parameter. In the new order item data source, when the operation new runs, I copy the order ID from the screen parameter and the product ID from the current record of the available product's data source. I run the new operation when user selects a new row in the available product list, meaning that re-execute on change here is DS product ID, and I need an action to write a new record to the database. After it runs, I refresh the order item's data source. I created these parts on the View tab, a table of the available products, a table of order items, and for the new item of the order. Alright, I am calling the screen from the order screen, selecting a product I want in the list, typing in a quantity, and hitting the Add this product to order button. 
I can use a filter to find a product. In the order item list, I can delete an item and change a quantity or a comment. Now I'm going to close this pop-up screen and I see the new item list in the order. Thank you for your attention.